hi I'm here with another super simple craft that looks more advanced and technical um, than it really is so anyone can do this one um, what we're making is a watercolor faux watercolor um, art print if you will there's one the flyers one um, and your first step is actually to go on the computer and print out whatever it is that you want as your print. Um, my five-year-old designed this one. I found this one just black and white for a higher contrast. I am using a thicker paper. You can use cardstock just because water gets involved. So the regular printer paper might get a little bubbly. Um, but yeah, a little bit thicker because water is involved. Um, but I'm gonna do this print here. It says it's not hoarding if it's books. Um, maybe that speaks to some of us out here. Um, but your, besides printing, your next step is going to be um, to use a plastic bag. You could use any size depending on your print. You just wanna be able to kind of cover your page that you're working on. Put it right over the top. And then you also want um, the washable markers. Definitely want washable because we want the water to kind of move it around. Um, and I'm gonna just kind of pick randomly, drawing some color bubbles, if you will. This is one of those ones where you can kind of plan out how you want it to look, but you never really know <laughs> um, what it, it's going to end up looking like. I'm using three colors here. You can use um, one. This is just orange. Uh, this one is, well, I guess there is three colors, but that's more of a two color look. And here we go. One more. So I'm going to hold up the bag so you can kind of see. I don't know if you'll be able to see. So it's definitely colored. Move my paper out of the way. And actually my finished one's out of the way too. And I just have a water bottle here, spray bottle. Um, and I'm going to give it enough sprays so it looks like the marker is almost water bubbles, if you will, um, because that, when you push it with the paper, that's what's gonna really make it look like a watercolor. Um, so you don't want it too wet, because like I said, then your paper will start to warp, um, but you definitely wanna see some raised marker bubbles, let's see. It's a little difficult to hit kind of see there the raised the raised marker and so my paper here I am just gonna flip this over line it up a little bit again and just kind of almost paint with my finger out the colors press you know, where I can see the water moving, blend the colors together a little bit. Um, if there's not enough water, you can give it one little spray. Maybe move it. If there's more water in one spot, you can kind of readjust your paper a little bit that way kind of moving where my water is. Um, so right now, let's see if you can see. Kind of looks like this. What I'm gonna do with my paper towel here is just kind of dab off where there's almost like a little too much happening, a little too saturated. And it kind of takes away the color. Uh, Um, and then if you see spots that need to be filled in, um, so like my side here kind of didn't get any, 
I can come back with my plastic where there's color and just kind of push that down again just reprint um, you know add a little more interest on your paper or if you're happy with it then great job <laughs> uh, there we go get a little bit of water in there and kind of smear it along dab again And that's it. It's super, super simple, super easy. It looks like I really know how to watercolor, <laughs> um, better than just messing around. And if you pop this in a frame, nice little mat around it, um, you know, it looks like you paid a lot of money for something that was just washable markers and water. Um, so good luck. I hope you have fun making beautiful faux watercolor prints.